it took the fear out of me. And it made me know that God saved me to lead the fight so that I never was fearful after that. Never afraid of a fight for equality, tonight we remember the life and legacy of Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. Good evening. Tonight we're remembering a tireless foot soldier in the civil rights movement, the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. The 89-year-old leader who survived bombings, beatings, jail, and threats died today in Birmingham, Alabama. Tonight we celebrate his life and legacy. Night News anchor Clyde Gray begins our team coverage from the place where the Reverend Shuttlesworth spent 40 years as pastor, the Greater New Light Baptist Church in Avondale. Clyde? Uh, Carol, you're right. We're live in what in many ways is the church the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth built here, the Greater New Light Baptist Church in North Avondale. This church sits on North Fred Shuttlesworth Circle. In later years, Shuttlesworth won praise for his role in the struggle uh, for civil rights in the United States. But in the 50s and 60s, his determination to bring about integration nearly cost him his life. An article today quoted a 1961 CBS documentary which called Reverend Shuttlesworth the man most feared by Southern racists. His efforts began with his civil rights struggles in Alabama in the 1950s and 60s and continued with four decades of church leadership and community activism in Cincinnati. The Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth was a minister in Birmingham who, along with the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., helped form the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, perhaps the lead organization in the fight for civil rights. His devotion to the cause of integration exposed him to several attempts on his life and confrontations with the Ku Klux Klan, including the bombing of his home. Nor did it endear him to his congregation, which wanted him for more mundane duties. In 1961, Fred Shuttlesworth moved to Cincinnati. Here he organized Greater New Light Baptist Church in North Avondale, but he remained just as bold on civil rights, especially police community relations and economic equality. Reverend Shuttlesworth retired in March of 2006 at the age of 84 and moved with his wife, Safira, back to Birmingham. Three years ago, the community in which Reverend Shuttlesworth battled so forcefully for civil rights honored him by renaming its airport Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport.